even last night, you're, you know, I had a sleepless night because the, I've got, just got such a strong bond with the fans. Um, but they're amazing. And, of course, uh, the Crystal Palace games and things like that, you'll never forget them, will you? But I know how amazing the fans are, you know what I mean? That's never going to change. <laughs>
So yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be a, um, it's going to be unbelievable, isn't it? A fantastic uh, thing for all the fans to look forward to. And it is, uh, no, it's, and, it's, and I've noticed it's gone up very quickly as well. So it's good because I drive by it often. And regarding the playing situation, the, the, the team is in very good hands with Frank Lampard as manager. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, um, Frank came in. He, he managed to steady the ship as such, you know, and he, he managed to get, get us um, away from the relegation. Uh, so he did. He's done very well. Young manager. Um, I think he'll be better the, the, the coming season because he'll got the experiences for last season. He'll know, he'll know his squad a bit better. He'll have he'll be a bit of time over pre-season to to get his ideas across. So no, and Frank's been great with me. He's been really you know, but first class with me. He didn't want me to leave. Um, you know, I spoke spoke with him over the summer quite a bit, and he wanted me to stay on the staff. But so I can't I can't talk highly, of Frank. You know, he's a, a great man um, and a great young manager, and I'm sure he'd do very well for Everton. And of course, we can't do an interview with you without mentioning Evertonians. Um, massive, strong bond that you have with fans. Even for someone who's kind of adored by so many Blues as you are, looking back at last season in the tail end, even for you, was that quite remarkable what you saw? It was, yeah. Because, not, remarkable what I saw, yeah. But at the end of the day, I know the fans, and I know the fans how much they care about the club. Um, they're... they're, they're been incredible to me since I come in '94. Uh, we've got a strong bond. I mean, even thinking last night, I was out in Everton in the community representing them last night at a dinner over over in the world, and I was thinking to myself, you know, my God, I can't give this up. You know, even last night, you're, you know, I had a sleepless night because I've got, just got such a strong bond with the fans. Um, but they're amazing, and of course, uh, the Crystal Palace games and things like that, you'll never forget them, will you? But I know how amazing the fans are. You know, I mean, that's never going to change. And does it mean a lot to you that you know, no matter what your next step is, you've always got them behind you and them supporting you? Yeah, it does mean a lot to me. I mean, the relationship that we've, we've had there the years, and they know how much they mean to me. And, uh, you know, um, no, I'll always love them and hopefully they, 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 you know, they'll always get on well. Is that the message that you've got for Evertonians then, that, you know, the, that, that bond will always be there and you're grateful for their support? Absolutely, 100%. You know I mean, and uh, they've been fantastic. I mean, of course. When I was a caretaker manager in, a, in that Chelsea game, as it happens, and um, they were just amazing on that day, and I can't thank them enough, you know, for all their support.